Okay, today we're going to take a look at graphing some trig functions on our TI-84 graphing calculator. Uh, generically, I just want to take a look at um, like a plain sine function and then also demonstrate how um, the trig functions can be shifted left and right and up and down along the graph. So let's take a look at a generic um, trig equation here for sine. y equals a sine of bx minus c and then plus d. I've kind of color coded this a little bit. That a number there, if I take the absolute value of a, if you recall from your just basic um, sketching by hand, that's going to give you the amplitude of your trig function. The numbers b and c, if I take them and I divide c divided by b, that's going to give me the phase shift. In other words, that's going to tell me how the graph is going to shift left or right from the base graph. And the plus d um, on the end tells me how the graph is going to shift up or down as well. Okay, so for example, we could just take a look at the plane sine function. All right, so if I'm going to do that, I'm going to go into the y equals. I already have sine x typed in there. Now, if I just automatically hit graph, all right, a lot of times I'm going to be able to see something and get a relatively good picture of it. But sometimes if I put a trig function in and I just straight hit graph or zoom standard, it's going to be in such a way that I cannot even tell what the graph looks like. So my suggestion is when you are in that y equals area and you have typed your trig function in, you should do zoom. And then from this menu, you should pick um, trig. So number seven, you should zoom trig. All right, and you can see how now this makes this look more a, like a trig function that it should without any distortion whatsoever. All right, and you can see in this one, my A would be a 1, and my amplitude there is clearly a 1. Okay, now let's take a look at the second equation here. All right, my C value is pi over 2, my B is 1. All right, so this is going to shift left pi over 2. So we should be able to put that in the calculator, and I've kind of color-coded this. This is going to go under red. So let's go ahead and put it in and see if it shifts it left pi over 2. So sine of x plus, and then a shortcut to get a fraction in there, pi over 2. All right, now I shouldn't have to zoom a uh, trig again. Again, once you do it, it should stay there. There's the first original sine graph. All right, and then what has been graphed in red now is sine x plus pi over 2. All right, as you can see, each one of the points, like the vertex right there, has been shifted to the left pi over 2. All right, this point right here on the original graph has been shifted left pi over 2. This peak down here has been shifted left pi over 2. So all this does is the phase shift just tells you how the graph shifts, shifts either left or right. Okay, now let's go ahead and leave those two in there, and then let's go ahead and put a third one in there. And I've color-coded this again in green, and I've added the little plus 3. So let's go back into our y equals. Arrow down, this graph will be green. So let's do sine x plus, put the fraction back in, pi over 2, and then plus 3. Looking to make sure, let's go back, because looking at that, that really does not look like a pi right there. Let's put that back in, shift pi. Looks much better now. All right, now again, like I said, I should not have to hit zoom 7 for zoom trig again, but just to be on the safe side, let's go ahead and do it. The original graph comes up, the red graph, which has been shifted to the left pi over 2. All right, and now for the last graph there, all right, it has been shifted left pi over 2, but then also up 3. So right above that red graph, this peak has went up 3. So if the peak was at 1, so then one, two, three, it'll be at four right there. So some just some um, nice little demonstrations there on the trig functions, being sure to use zoom seven for the trig, and then showing how the various graphs shift around the coordinate plane.
Uh, definitely thanks for watching. Be sure and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks.